What's going on guys, today I'm gonna quickly show you how you can take the video quality of your recordings from looking blurry, blotchy, and choppy to crystal clear in a matter of moments. We're gonna be using OBS Studio to implement these settings. So the first thing we're gonna wanna do is head over to the right hand side, select the settings button, then go to video, and we're gonna wanna check our base and output canvas resolutions. As you can see for me, I have it set to 1920 by 1080 for both of these. Now as a content creator making gaming videos, Videos, you're going to want to have more frames in your video so that it looks smoother. So for your common FPS values type, you're going to want to make sure that that is set to 60. Once you have that done, go ahead and select apply and OK. And then the next thing I'm going to do is just quickly add my gameplay capture card source. So in my sources section, I'm going to select the plus button, add a video capture device source, call it capture card. Then I'm going to choose the device drop down and select my capture card, which is the Live Gamer 4K 2.1. Once I do that, it'll pop right up. And if I scroll down, here just a little bit instead of using the default device resolution type I'm actually going to make that custom and within here I can set my resolution to be all the way up to 4k that's if I'm playing my game in 4k quality which means it is passing through the capture card and my computer can handle it go this route because you'll have more pixels that you can then condense down into a 1080p image making your image sharper if you find that doing 4k is not an option then go ahead and select the 1920 by 1080 option that will still look very good for our fps we can set that to 60. video format you can honestly leave at any but please make sure that mjpeg is not selected if it is an option for you as the data quality that's being passed is much lower as as for the color space, you can set that to Rec 709. For the color range, you can set that to full. Once you've set those, go ahead and select OK. And now the next thing we're gonna wanna do is set our recording settings. So to do that, we're gonna head over back to our settings, then go to the output tab. And instead of being in the simple output mode, we're gonna jump in to the advanced mode. Once you're in here, select the recording tab and then the type, you can keep that at standard recording path. That's going to be wherever you want your video files to save on your computer. Recording format is pretty important. I would recommend keeping it at hybrid MP4. So your video will save in a .MP4 format, but this format will also utilize the crash resilient capabilities that MKV comes with and is easily usable across a variety of editing software. As for the video encoder, there are really only two primary options that I would really recommend going with. If you don't have a dedicated graphics card, such as one from Nvidia or AMD, then I'd recommend using the encoder of your integrated graphics on your CPU. So for AMD chips, you would choose AMD HW H.264 and Intel would be QuickSync H.264. But if you do have that graphics card, then you're going to want to go with the NVEC H.264 option. And for me, I have my graphics card from Nvidia. So I'm going to go with this. Up next, we're going to want to head over to our encoder settings below. And for our rate control, we're actually not going to have this at constant bitrate. You're going to want to change this to constant QP, which is also known as CQP or constant quantization parameter. Why are we using this over constant bitrate? Well, CQP guarantees a visual quality that is uniform across the entire video. So it doesn't matter if graphics in your gameplay are still or have extreme motion. CQP is going to make sure it looks good either way. The best number to set your constant QP at is 20 if you're doing 1080p 60 gameplay and I wouldn't make it any higher than 22, but something to keep in mind is that the lower you make this number, the better your quality will be, but the larger your file sizes will be as well. 20 is the sweet spot. Keyframe interval, you can keep that at zero, but I will say as a best practice, you should change it to two for a better editing experience. The preset, I would keep that at P5. Tuning, keep that at high quality. For the multi-pass mode, you can update that to be full resolution. Profile, you can remain that at high. Look ahead and adapt the quantization. You can keep that checked off and B frames at two is perfectly all right. And now that our settings are looking peachy, we can go ahead and select apply and okay. And now I want you guys to go ahead and test these settings out for yourself and let me know in the comment section below how you're looking. 
Now, in the chance that your gameplay is not looking smooth and you're experiencing choppiness and encoder overload issues, you're going to want to go back into your settings, go into the recording tab, and then back down where we set the multi pass mode. We originally had that set to full resolution two passes. You're going to want to select that drop down and choose single pass instead. For my integrated graphics people, you can adjust the preset to balanced or speed to have your system use less resources by encoding the video fast. Go ahead and apply those changes, select OK, try to do another recording and see if it looks as good as mine now. Let me know if you guys have any questions and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.